Welcome everybody to my channel. We are on FS15. On the PS4. So let's go to career. Let's scroll down here. Let's make a new one here. Go. You have a choice either to go to easy, normal, or hard. Let's go normal. You start out with actually with uh, two maps Berjome or Westbridge or Susnoka. But originally you only start out with just the two maps. Snoka and is on the gold edition of FS15. You have to buy that through the PlayStation Store. So let's start with uh Bajom. I think that's how it's pronounced. I've always liked this map, so let's start here. I want to welcome everybody to my channel. I appreciate everybody stopping by and, and uh, liking my uh, my videos. I also do li uh, live streams once in a while. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I started originally started playing this game back on the PS3 back in 20. Twenty twelve or twenty thirteen when this game actually came out on the PS three. That's when I originally started playing this game. So it's been I've been playing this game for what, ten, twelve ten or eleven years or something like that. Am I a pro at this game? No I'm not. I just like playing this game. I've always liked it. Uh, since you can't uh, do videos or live streams and all that on the PS3 anymore, I am originally on the PS4. So I have gotten the FS13 and 15 for the PS3 and I also have PS uh, for the PS4 I have FS15 17 and 19 and 22 on the PS4 I am only a console player I'm not a PC player or an Xbox player I'm just a console player I am very thankful for everything. It's been fun playing this game. Um, so I thought I'd go back and do a video on here. You are very welcome to watch it all. If not, you can always skip it. But uh, I think it's very interesting to watch <laughs> to my expect to my opinion so let's hit the start button here it says hello welcome to farmer simulator would you like to start a short 
guided tour. This will show you the basics of this game. No, because I've been playing this for a long time, so I don't need this. Alright, start the guided tour later. If you'd like to start the guided tour at a later time, simply start a new career and you'll be asked again. No. <laughs> First of all, what we're going to do is go to here. And we are going to turn on no missions, plant growth at normal, yeah. Plant weathering. That's your choice. You can either have it on or off. I always have mine off, so. Alright, next one. Volume is a hundred percent. I always turn mine down to 10% because the game are the noise in the game are will ride your voice so I always turned it off or turn it down on 10% but for now we'll just go to we'll go off everything else I leave it set all right We'll go back, we'll go to this little icon right here, push mark. This says hello and welcome to your brand new farm in Bridgeome. If you continue down to the slope to get to the main area where you can find more interesting tips of the game. So I we'll walk down here. If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen there you'll see a like a mini map bring that up this is what the map actually looks like um, so directly you only own three fields field 24 29 and 38 there's a 41 fields on this map lots of trees you could either farm or you can do uh, trees uh, lots and lots of cell points uh, you start out with uh, you could have cows chickens sheep but there's a lot of cell points here all right got it click down there all right for your equipment oops wrong button sorry here's your categories of your equipment that you start out with the that you have in the game Alright, if you go to your garage, this is your start out equipment that you have in the game. This is what you start out with. Alright, is, is there any mods or in this game? Well, there is. If you go to the PlayStation Store and buy them. For example, I did buy some, not all of them, but if you go to tractors, if you go all the way over, these right here are DLC packs that you could buy at the PlayStation Store. I think you can get this game on PC. I'm not sure if you can or not, but I do know that you can get it on console. But these are the DLC packs that you could buy on the uh, 
PlayStation Store. Just these here. Alright, let's go to the combines and I'll show you the combines that you can get. And these are the DLC packs that you can get. trucks you only have one truck it's the red one the man truck you start out with but this Phoenix echo truck that's a DLC pack uh, wagons or tippers they call them these are all in-game ones except from the farm tech tipper from all the way over or uh, DLC packs. So you technically, yes, you can get DLC packs only through the PlayStation Store. Here's a truck that you could buy. Here are your animals. You have cows, sheep, and chickens. Bailers from the from all these are DLC packs. Uh, here's your sewing machines. Or planners, or whatever you want to call them. So let's take a let's back back on our main farm here. Let's take a little walk here. All right, here's one of the fields that you own. It's a wheat field. Here's one of them here. This is field 29. Some people may call this scheme. It uh, looks like a cartoon uh, map, but originally it's not. <laughs> Just the graphics are different. Here's the other field that you own, 24. Uh, I don't think there's nothing in this one. It's been cultivated. And the other one is Let's see, yeah, you can run on this game. Uh, the other one's over here by... By your cell point up here, by the crane elevators. So originally you only start out with three fields. Close to the field here, but you probably wonder why am I going back and playing on FS15 <laughs> when you could play the other the other games. Well, it's kind of kind of cool to go back once in a while. Here's uh, the other field. It's 38. It needs uh, looks like it needs plowing and cultivating. Well, it's kind of cool to go back and play on an older map with uh, no mods. You just start out with just the original equipment that you have in the game itself. Uh, if you're wondering how to, how to buy the how to buy the fields in this game, well, you simply walk up to these little icons that are in the middle of the fields here. For example, like this one right here is field 30. And then just this field's number 30. It's uh, 1.92 acres for 57,700, which you cannot buy because you don't have enough money. You originally start off with only $5,957 in your bank account. But 
but that's how you buy the fields. But if you want to mow the grass, you can mow all the grass you want because it doesn't cost you anything. Anywhere there's grass, you can mow it. So you can make money on this game. If you really want to, you can mow the grass and put it in the site in their uh, bunkers. You sell it. You start out with one chicken right here. It's a rooster. Uh, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Here's your icon for your chicken, your chicken coops. Uh, here's your hay barn. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Here's your straw or hay. But uh, this is, is really a nice map. You play on it quite a bit. This map is also on... Uh, I am mistaken. I think it's on FS 17 and 19. It's not. It's not on night uh, 22 yet that I know of. Might be, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know much today. But anyways, <laughs> this is your sugar beets. These are your wood chips right here. All right. So you can actually sell these. You want? Uh, here's your fertilizer sitting over here. Uh, your seed is sitting over here with this tractor right here. Here's one of the equipment that you own. All right. Let's jump over here. Let's go to the combine. Here's the combine that you start out with. Here's the other tractor that you start out with. Right here. That's all you start out with. Oh, except for this one here. This is on field 38. Here's the other one over here. So you originally start with three tractors, cultivator, or combine. So we're going to take a little trip down to the shop. I'll show you the shop area. All right, if you go this way. Believe me, I've played on this map for a long time. <laughs> and like I said, I started I started playing this game back on the PS3 on FS13. Played on that for a long time, and then uh, FS15 uh, PS3 came out, so I bought that. Played on that for a long time. Until FS17 on the PS4 came out, then I decided, well, I need to upgrade my system, so I went and bought a PS4 and a FS17 game, brand new. So I've been playing the game ever since. Here's the shop area. Right here, you go to this little icon right here. You can sell your. Oh, I guess we didn't have to drive down here. You could get out. You can hit this little icon right here. It, uh, you can sell your vehicles right here. So, originally, we'll keep this tractor because you have one here down at the shop. I forgot. You have this one right here. So technically you really don't need this one because you already have three. So if you take this and you go over here, you sell this tractor. You don't really need it. 
unless you want to keep it, but I don't. All right, what's, what's up for 22,200? All right, if you go over here, go right here to this question mark here, here at the shop. This is your vehicle shop. Go up here, and this is your categories where you can buy your equipment. Right here. And if you go around the corner up here, let me get a drink of coffee here. If you go around the corner right here, there's an ATM machine. This is uh, your, you can check your uh, finances. So we'll do that. All right. That's what your finances look like. So as of today, we're $71,884 in the hole. You could either repay it back or you could borrow more money. So what can we do? We'll just pay back some of it. All right, now we're at seventy-one thousand eight hundred and eighty-four dollars. We still owe the bank. All right. Now we go back here. Oops. All right. Here's a overview. Forecast looks pretty nice. Not bad. There's no news to report this time. Your finances, new vehicles, nothing. Running. Vehicle running cost ninety dollars so far. Uh, our balance is at three thousand one hundred and ten. This is your storage and prices for your crops. Uh, I've always planted canola because canola pays more. If you but if you look at the canola price at the green elevator, it's 1,888. Or the shipping office is 1,055. Transport company is 1,166. Windmill is 1,044. So I've always planted canola because it pays more in the game. Or you could do wood chips at the bio heating plant. That pays good money too. But it's all up to you what you want to do. But right now in your uh, silo at the main farm, you have uh, just under 9,000 uh, crops in your s s silo at the farm. All right, here's your storage prices. Milk is at 0.40, wool is $1.21, seed is 60, fertilizer is 30, egg price is $11.45, fuel 70, straw 4, grass 5, hay is 5. So, all right. Now, this is your vehicle selection you could uh, reset your vehicles back to the back to the uh, shop if you like this is your map overview of your growth of your uh, crops so right now we're at our, let's see field 29 it's ready to harvest because it's a, a, like a green color. Field 24 and 38, it's brown, so this that means there's nothing in it. And here's your fruit types, like your wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and grass. Uh, field 29 is wheat, is that the one that's the field with the combines at. 
uh, go 24 is I don't think 24 has got nothing in it uh, 38 is got according to the map it has sugar beets but uh, I could be wrong I don't know all right well that's it for that there's no uh, doesn't tell you if the field is fertilized or not it just if it's weathered or not I don't know <laughs> uh, here's the animals the sheep you have none chickens you only have one just a rooster cows you have anything no cows no sheep just one chicken alrighty here's your statics statistics All right, now we're back to here. All right, we're back at the shop, so we'll take this up. But like I said, this is a very nice map. I like playing on it. Um, there's nothing wrong with the American map, Westbridge, but Westbridge has a lot of big fields. If you like to play on a map that has big fields. I picked this one because it has 41 fields and the fields are not really that big. Uh, just a lot of cell points in this in this map that's why I like it. And, uh, there's a, a waterfall if you look over there you see the waterfall running. Uh, give you a trip down to the cows Actually, I'll get a little tour here. Let's run down to the sh cows here, and I'll show you the cow pen. Leave the shop. You go right straight across over here. Go across these fields here. You'll be right down by your cows. But stop and think. Would you still play this game without any mods? <laughs> me? Yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's just me. Because I like playing this game. It's kind of fun to go back and play on a on a map with no mods, no money cheats, no nothing. Just plain Jane. Here are your, here's your your cow pen down here. Make the camera go out more. This is where your cows are at. And there's no icon anywhere where you could buy your cows, so alrighty. Take a little trip here. Let's go back. Let's go up. And I'll show you where the sheep's at. Here's one of your forest areas that you can do trees in. This is one of the bigger ones. You do have sawmill on this map, so you can cut down these trees if you like. All right, let's. Uh, get out of here let's go up around uh, I can't recall if there's any clickables on this map or not I think there is but I could be wrong all right let's go down through the rocks here easy there there we go all right we're down here by the all right uh, bio guy. we have to go this way go up around Get back in the main highway here. There we go. Uh, traffic on this game is pretty nice. They will stop for you. Uh, I just like the layout of this map. So 
but the graphics from this game, FS13 to or 15, compared to 17 or 19 or 22, is a lot different. All right, let's see. Let's go up around this way. Here's another place that you can do trees. You can cut down all the trees you want. And all the grass you want. Just the only thing you have to buy are the fields that you want. But you gotta have the money to do that, so. I have to cut across some fields. Oh, cut across some fields here and get up by the sheep up here. Isn't those these little icons right here? Run into these little phone booths here. These are your your helpline. Just kind of helps you out a little bit. You can do missions on this map if you like. I don't do missions, so. Some people like like doing missions and and uh, role plays and all that stuff, or, or contracts. I don't do the stuff like that, so I just play the game. <laughs> I guess I'm different. I'm just different. I just like to play the game. That's all. Alrighty, that's uh we have to cut across over here. Let's we'll just keep going. We'll go past the sawmill. Another uh area that you can cut down trees. But I have also done videos on this game. Uh, I do do I do do uh, forestry on this game. Uh, so you learn something new every day that you play it. All right, this little icon here that you run into here. These are your mission boards. So if you click on click on it, it it'll bring up your missions that you like to if you like to do them I have mine shut off so this n they won't show nothing here so but each one of those little icons like look like that it'll show you what missions you could do if you like here's your sawmill down in here um, I learned something new about this sawmill that uh, you don't have to. I always, <laughs> when I first started playing this, I've always dumped my logs in the pond here. And it tells you if, if you want to sell your wood, you can simply drop it into the pond. Straight or long, piece, long pieces get you more money. Well, you, you, you could do it that way. But if you back up too far in the pond here, you'll lose your equipment so then, then you have to reset it or you could take it it is an icon over by the track uh, the train over there I learned that just not too long ago that you could do it you can sell it over by your train over there but I have a Life of me, I never thought of that. I always dumped mine in the pond. <laughs> you have people walking around on here. Alrighty, let's uh, 
can see it by the sheep up here. So, but I thought I'd take a little tour through FS15 here on the PS4. Well, like I said, I started this game back in the PS3 on the. I originally started with FS13. So when it originally started, it originally came out on the console. Alright, I'm going to run up here by a sheep here. So that's been what, 10 to 11 years ago? Something like that. My boy was only 4 years old when I started playing this game, and now he's 15, so do the math. <laughs> do the math. Alright, well that's, you can hire a driver, cruise control, I'm going to do that, i get a sip of coffee here, alright, sheep's just right over here. You can speed time up like uh, there's no sleep icons at the house you cannot get in this house on this map but on uh, this map is also on 19 so on 19 you, you start out with uh, you start out in the house and the house is very nice detailed But this is the, the little town here. All right, here's your, your sheep is right here. Here's your sheep. Your wool panel, let's go right here. All you do is just, just feed them grass. There's no water for them. The water tanks for them is right up here. Let me speed this up a little bit. Right here, you got free water. Right here. Uh, no, all you do is just oops. All you do is just feed them grass. Cut some grass for them and dump it in here. But the wool pallets, the sheep will give you wool in, t in time. It puts it right on this little platform right there. But then you need a tractor with a loader on it. Some of these tractors in this game will have, you'll have to buy a loader. Like, for example, go to categories, go to tractors. Let's go to this. New Holland blue one. It tells you right at the bottom. This tractor can also attach front loaders, but these other ones don't. So it's the New Holland one and the Sterling one. And the New Holland one, a T6. That's about it. You only get a couple of them. But if you go down to, I think it's here. I think it's wheel loaders, I think. No, where's that? Um, I'm trying to find it here. Uh, JC packs. This is all in-game ones here. Well, there is a loader you can get. Uh, I just can't find it now. But it don't matter. But uh, but this is your sheep area. So, all right. Let's head back to the farm up here. Uh.
All right, this is one of your cell points right here. Let's go this way. We'll cut across the field here. Get back to the main farm here. You can do silage on this on this uh, map here if you just cut the grass and take it down to your your uh, bio biogas plant. You can make silage. You can make money that way. Uh, it just takes a while to do it because you have to have the bunkers 100%. So it'll take you a while to do it, but you can make money on this game. Just takes a while <laughs> that's all oh you also have the at your main farm here here's your silos right here if you go over here you have your free water I don't know why there's water here but you have no animals here but <laughs> but that fills up your water tanks so. then you have another phone booth right here at the main farm it just helps you out that's all all right, let's take a look. Go over here. You lose, here's your silo. All right. Well, since this is, let's see. Where are we, oh, we, we borrow this tractor from up here. This is seed tractor. So originally you start out with only three tractor, but you can you could do it with just two if you like. So all right, let's put this thing right here. Um, let's go to the categories. Let's go to your tractors, and I'll show you some. All right, right now we have all right. This is what we own. If you look at the the maintenance on these tractors, all right, the Hillman's H488. Look at the maintenance on two hundred seventy dollars a day. You uh, have one of those. All right, go to the next tractor, Echo Star six point sixty one. That's four hundred sixty dollars a day. You own two of those. The combine is 480 a day. You only have one. So the rest of these are are not bad on price on maintenance. It's just a, it's the tractors that get you. Um, so each time you play, uh, each day it goes by, you have to pay that. Four hundred sixty dollars a day, or two hundred seventy dollars a day. But you can't sell them. Uh, so we'll sell. We won't sell any for right now. Oh. All right. But if you look at these other tractors, back in the tractor category. But if you look at these other tractors, like this one right here, is three thirty a day. Seventy dollars a day, two sixty a day, one ten a day, a hundred dollar a day. So it all varies on what you want to do, but you just gotta watch it. But only if you got the money to buy it. <laughs> Alrighty, 
Let's get this guy started right here. Let's get this guy cultivated. I always hire a worker in this guy here. Uh, you can buy a plow and plow these up if you want. But for right now, we just let that guy go. Alright, we'll go back to our combine here. Let's unfold it. Hook the header up to it. You could adjust your uh, width on your header. Alright. I'm going to hire a worker because I got to get me more coffee. So, uh, can you change your dis disabled straw swath? Yeah, you can. So, instead of making a uh, wheat roll you could make it spread out so but that means you have to buy a load of wagon because you can't lease nothing on here oh, you have to buy it Let's see how much they are, first of all. Yeah, you have to buy it out. They want 27000 for it. That's just, I think that's the cheapest one. Oh, 25000 But these are the DLC packs that you can buy. So the cheapest one is, you could buy this. This one right here. 27000 because you can't lease it, so you have to buy it. So that means you have to go to the bank, borrow the money. <laughs> In the long run, it doesn't pay off. Because so, I'm going to hire a worker. I'm going to give him more coffee, so I'll be right back, you guys. Enjoy this short video.
back with a first cup of coffee. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Appreciate it, guys. Like I said, I I've been playing this game for a long time. I mostly play it offline. Uh, I enjoy playing it. Uh, like I said, I'm not no pro at this game. I just just like to play it. Um, some people have played this game longer than I have. On, probably on PC because PC's got more more older FS games than, than we do on console but I still enjoy playing it I went to right now I'm playing on a PS4 Pro I upgraded to a Pro my uh, original PS4 took a crap on me so I lost everything on that so I went and got me a PS4 Pro but I still have my uh, PS3 and my original two games for the PS3 like my FS13 game and FS15 game for the PS3 I still have those I haven't played on my PS3 in a long time but if I could I would stream it but I don't know how to do it <laughs> uh, you used to but uh, it doesn't matter um, you can fertilize these fields if you like I don't don't know and I don't recall of price difference in it if you do sell the crops if you do fertilize the field um, you can plow the field up if you like um, I have done a video on these where I have uh, fertilized the field and then sold the crops but I don't think there's any difference in it If there is, I never really paid any attention to it. I could see if there's a difference, but uh, but you start out with just a cultivator, so you just cultivate your fields. But uh, there's no repair shop except you, except down at the shop. I cannot. Oh, for, uh, oh, that's for placeables, placeables. That's what I was thinking, placeables. Let me stop this combine and I'll show the placeables here. All right, if you go to your categories, if you go to your placeables, right here, here are your placeables that you, you could buy and place down on and anywhere on the map. But you gotta have the money to do it. I wouldn't buy with these trees, but you can if you want. But these are all replaceables. If you really want to make some money, I've done it before. You could take a loan out at the bank for a hundred and twenty-five thousand, and you could place this down. For example. This should give you $190 an hour at 1.5 kilowatts and it charges $25 a day to use it. But if you click on it, so you don't have enough money, so can't do it that way. Let's see. 
Uh, or can I? No, can't do it that way either. But anyways, <laughs> you have the money, you could place it down anywhere. Anywhere on your, uh, by your farm here. But that's one way you could make money. If you buy a, oh, you can buy a bee house, bee house if you like. Me, I rather go a s solo panel, and then just turn your time up and leave your system on for 24 hours, and it'll increase your money. I've done it that way before. It's just that you gotta have your system on 24 hours to increase your money ways. But this, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but that's the way I learned how to get the money so all right let's get this combined up here all right combines full so back up out of here right, I hope you all enjoyed my videos my video uh, I try to post one every day at least try to. I do live streams, not very often, but I do do them. But uh, I usually get out one or two videos a day. Nothing special, but I just like playing the game like it is. So, If I recall, I think my very first video, well, I think YouTube took it off, but I think my very first video I did was back, oh my goodness, five, six years ago, something like that. But YouTube took it off, so I looked and it was back on FS17, but for some reason it's no longer. Yeah, uh, in my channel, on my uh, videos, for some reason. But uh, that would be my very first video I did. And, uh, oops.